na ka, katika jina la Bwana. Mimi uh, kumbukumbu na tafakari niliyo nayo kwa ndugu yetu JJ uh, ni nyingi na inarudi nyuma kidogo kwa miaka ya uh, kwe, miaka ya 80 na mwanzo wa miaka ya tisini Huyo JJ ndio alinikaribisha mara ya kwanza mimi nilipoingia jiji la Nairobi nililala kwake na kumbuka uh, mwaka 88 na baada ya hapo tuli uh, tulijenga urafiki ambao ulikuwa ni mkubwa sana napenda sana ku uh, kukaa na watu he liked socializing with people i was one of the beneficiaries of this man's socialization traits what na cheza na yeye pamoja kwa nyumba yake na sikumbuki ni mara sikumbuki hata kama ndiwahi kumshinda mimi nilijifunza kucheza huyo mchezo kwa sababu ya umahiri wake alikuwa ni mtu mjao wa vibwagizo ulikuwa ukikaa na JJ ulikuwa na uhakika kwamba utacheka he uh, mimi mwenyewe nimeguswa nimeguswa sana kwa kumpotesa huyu jamaa na kwa niaba ya wale wengine familia yangu marafiki zangu na wale wengine wenye wako hapa nasema poleni sana kwa wele ni alaba wele alinde kumoyo kwewe mara amoi khasi bulai ne nenye kuvarambo selo ngire kindi tawe fue singa ku harano kuri ngira ndalani kara ngire psali kwe lakini khuru ndengira kana munyo ale kwe ni asanti Karibuni wote wale mmekuja kutuliwaza. I'll go straight to the life history of uh, my cousin, Jose Jack. Jose Jack Stuma, popularly known as JJ, was born on the second day of February 1958 in a family of nine. Being the fifth born of the late Kiliswa Teller and Grace Nekesa Kiliswa. Education. JJ learned at St. Columbus Primary School after his KCP, his CPE, sorry, there was no KCP in 1975. He did his CPE in 1975. He joined St. Patrick's C10, where he completed his sixth form. While in secondary school, he worked with Gailey and Robert's company as an accountant for his astuteness and cleverness in mathematics. Circumcision. As you all know, Stuma was a guy who liked culture and it cannot pass without mentioning that he was circumcised. Stuma was circumcised on the eighth day of August 1972. That qualifies him to be in the age set of Bachuma in Ikibukusu Marriage. JJ got married in his early 20s to his beloved wife, Jen Ross Nangunda Mchele Situma. God blessed them with five children. Jackie Shandila Situma of Career Training Center, Tours and Travel. Sami Situma, East African School of Media Studies, Study Story. He's a journalist. He picks after his father. Steve Stuma of Moy University doing anthropology. Silas Stuma, Kiungwani High School. He's in Form 3. Stella Stuma of Missiani Girls High School. She's now in Form 2. And uh, Stuma also adopted a, a child, Marion Stuma, who is in Palace Academy in Class 3. His life experience. He joined KIMC, Kenya Institute of Mass, Mass, Mass Media Communication. After training, he worked with KBC, uh, Kenya Broadcasting Corporation. Then later, he rejoined KIMC as a lecturer. He also worked with the, the Kenya Museum, Kenya Wildlife Services, 
And in all these places, he was promoted to high ranks because this, this was a guy who was a genius in all his fields. He did his work. He also went further to study in Germany for a higher diploma in journalism. Joe's Jack has been a man of high integrity to his family, friends, place of work, and anywhere as he has been. Anybody who has come across Joe's until his demise, he was on duty in Zambia while covering a, a Zambian ceremony called Kuomboka. This was a promotion to KQ uh, in his uh, program popularly known as Musafiri. It was through a tragic, a tragedy of uh, a, a boat capsizing. This thing happened on the 8th of April 2006 at 9.30 a.m. As you are all aware, I told you he was circumcised on the eighth day of August 1972. He passed away on the eighth day of April uh, 2006. He was born on the second day of February 1958. So all these days are all even. So wherever he's going, we know he's going to an even place. I loved Joss. I loved him as a dear brother. I'll miss him. I'll miss him big. Mulamwa, please take heart. We are with you together. Thank you. Yes. Wasababu pale kaivari yo 